Good day and welcome to the South African Lawn. However, today won't be about lawn. It'll be about how to renovate your old pots. We're gonna make a gem out of this mess. All the guys who was looking for some lawn tips, sorry, nothing in this episode. Maybe you wanna exit now, or maybe you wanna keep watching, you maybe see something interesting. I don't know. So, like I've said, um, I've moved into this property a couple of months ago and the backyard is looking a mess at the moment and I want to do a whole renovation throughout this whole backyard of mine. Not looking very good and today will be about pot plants like I've said and um, sometimes in life it's not about what you can buy it's m about making most of what you have and these pots will take a plant with a smile and I think today we can upgrade them a bit adding some color into their life okay so those pots of mine i found in that mountain rocky area there and um, that's where they come from and that's where they originate from so i just want to say that we're going to take some old scrap and see what we get out of them okay so first things first there's a couple of steps and what you need to do is obviously there's some scrap in here i've got some stones some actually Actually, this looks like some decent potting soil in this one. Um, we want to remove this. And then we've got a empty pot, which we can work towards. Okay, so now that we've got the empty pot, um, we want to clean this one until it is shiny. No need to clean the inside too bad. Um, we're obviously going to put plants in it, so I don't see the point of getting this inside clean. Okay, so I've got a sponge, scraper, whatever you want to call it, um, just for the rough side, just to move, remove some of these stubborn dirt sticking to the side. Oh, this is actually working quite nicely. Maybe try this on my hands. I haven't got the most pretty hands. Well, I think that worked to charm. So the next step is obviously getting a different color onto those pots. Here they are. These ones still need to be cleaned a little bit, but okay. And uh, I, the only reason why I'm showing you this is because our house consists mainly of warm colors. And the color that your pot should be is going to be solely dependent on your own opinion. And that's mine. And my wife's is already painting some other pots there. And um, so I'm not a great fan of all the warm colors so I'm gonna try and break it with some cooler colors let's see I've actually got some paint left over and we're gonna try and use that on these pots and I hope they look nice okay so what I've got here is my pot which is clean and I think it is ready to be painted it is not perfect sorry for the shadow um, but it doesn't really matter because I'm gonna use them outside and I've got a couple of them to do so I don't want to spend ages on preparing pots and priming them and whatever so we're just going to put paint on and see how it looks <laughs> cheers always remember to mix your paint before you've used it no before you use it sorry you can either close the lid and shake it like this or you can get a mixing stick or i don't know dowel or whatever you want to call it and stir it up inside Okay, so now we've started painting the pot 
Uh, you can use any color that you like. We've got this navy blue. I know it's old paint that we had left from painting the house about six months ago. And um, my wife's doing this for me. You're doing great. Oh, it's a, quite a thick coat. We're only going for a one coat a year. Okay, so the paint that I've got is a Plascon Roof Blue. It's got a code there, which is absolutely irrelevant. Um, I don't know why they call it roof paint. It's obviously pot paint. It doesn't go onto the roof. I'm just kidding. Um, the only reason why I'm saying this is because it should be fine outdoors because it's meant for a roof. So the other paint that I'm going to use, just for a contrasty, is an Allgaard Michalisberg Mist. Don't know what colour that is. The only thing that indicates the colour is this little bit that's built here. Um, doesn't really matter. I know it is grey. Still have to mix that up. Ha, hope it's coming out fine. Okay, so I was lying. I know how it's going to come out because I've done one already. Then the background. Okay, well, my wife did it. She says she did. Oh, sorry. So, we're going with this grey on top. Okay. And it is looking good. I'm loving it. You should just get the inside there as well, eh? The, okay, no. She doesn't like me to tell her what to do. We're basically done with the painting, we're just waiting for it to dry, it dries up quite quickly, especially when you only have to wait for one coat. Um, now you have to start thinking about what to plant in those things, and I've got a couple of options here, although, the, although these maples I want to put in the ground, um, I'm thinking about putting my, I don't know what's his name, it's a swart career, as far as I know, in one of these pots. Um, I don't want it to grow too big, I've got one in my yard, and they make a mess in spring for some reason they lose their leaves in spring quite frustrating okay, so this one here is my christmas tree i don't know what its actual name is uh, but i want to use it as a christmas tree so that's fine um, so this one i definitely want to put in one of those uh, pot plants or pots i want to put this tree in as a plant in one of those pots whatever uh, because in december times i want to put it inside my house as a Christmas tree. It's my house. It's good. Okay, we've done some pot allocations here and um, this one already had a plant in so we're gonna leave it as it is. We just painted the pot and then this one is my Christmas tree special. It's December special and yeah I've got a nice coffee tree. So hopefully in three years time We'll be able to harvest some coffee beans from this one and then this pot is taking this swart career of mine don't know what the name is sorry about that and then this one sorry it's still a little bit wet we're gonna put this nice red one in there boom like that right so i'm stocking up with this soil that came out of the pots and i'm gonna mix it with some compost it should be good to go I've had a look at this and it looks like it's got some nice organic matter and should have a nice nutrient value. <laughs> okay, so first things first, 
Um, I've got my pot here and I've got my first, well it's not a plant, it's actually a tree. Um, but this one is going to go in here and we want to measure how deep we want to plant this. Firstly, you're going to put in some of your mixture. Then you want to measure your height. I think that's going to do just fine. The base of the plant is going to be roughly about 50 mils below the top part of this pot. Looks good. Now you want to break up the soil and the roots around your tree or plant just a little bit so that it can promote growth into the new soil or the other soil that's uh, present in the pot. Once you've done that, you're ready to fill your pot with the remainder of the potting soil. Now when planting your tree or plant, you always want to keep in mind not to bury the tree or the plant too deep. You want to keep the base of the stem just above the ground. You don't want to smother that with soil. Press down against the roots uh, firmly so you can just settle in the soil into the roots of your plant. Just going to need a little bit more. Okay, so good on that. Um, most of them planted. Um, now just the final touches. They look very nice and all, um, but we might need something like a starter fertilizer. I actually haven't got a starter fertilizer. I've got a all-purpose um, fertilizer by Bioorganic. This is one that's normally on sale somewhere, um, but it is a slow release and it is also an organic fertilizer. Just want to show you the ratings. Just get this out of the way. Um, the NPK levels not too high. And then this is the one I'm looking for. Pot plants. Applying 15 to 30 grams, one to two ta tablespoons, depending on the size of the pot. Working to the top layer of soil. Okay, um, so yeah, I've got my granular fertilizer. Um, like you can see, it's organic. Um, and you want to throw this, I reckon this is about two tablespoons of a half a handful. Um, not up right against the base of the plant, sorry. I'm looking what I must do here. And then you just want to gently work it into the soil. Let me just get my good hand, my strong hand. really just to help the plants uh, grow leaves and its roots and all the good stuff now very importantly you need to water preferably preferably want to water just after you fertilized um, then it dissolves and goes into the soil all right cool so I'm gonna wrap up the video here I've still got one or two pots to plant some plants in um, but I've run out of plants so I'm going to head to the nursery and get some more um, but I think you've seen enough and I just want to show you what we've made from basically nothing um, we've painted these if you don't like it then you just paint it a different color I don't know let it kind of talk to you um, that's basically what I want to say we used a couple of basic tools it was really easy nothing uh, really special here and I um, just want to show you how it came out. Looking very nice. Oh, this is the coffee one. I'm very excited about you, young man. Oh, sorry. Oh, you are the tall one. Some of these are actually going into the house. Looking very decent. I am the South African Lawn. If you like this, uh, give me a thumbs up. Subscribe to the channel and keep watching for more. Cheers for now.